Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the R case Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back for my next week of August wrap up. I think this is the third week. And I went down the rabbit hole. But we're actually going to start this video off with a book haul because it's going to explain my reading. Because we went to the comic book store and then a few days later we went to the bookstore. I'm actually going to start with what we got at the bookstore first. So there was a book my husband really wanted. I'm not going to show that because it has actually the name of our town. It's like a local history. But I figured if he's getting a book, I want one as well. So I was looking around. After he grabbed his book, he came over and then he was like, oh, hey, we really like this book. And there was Legends and Lattes. And I was like, you're right, we do. I loved it even more on the second time. Let's go ahead and get that. And then he was like, well, was that the one you were really looking for? And I'm like, it doesn't matter. This is, I was just looking for something that I have read and I want to add to my permanent collection. And he goes, no, no, no. This, he's like, this is more of a joint thing than go still get another book. So I went and picked up Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson, which has been one of my favorite reads of this year so far. Again, it goes straight to my permanent collection. Now, when we were at the comic book store, we were just browsing and, and I went to the manga section and I was like, there's one manga that I just really, really love. I've read it, the beginning of it multiple times and you know what, what the heck? I want to own it. So if they have number one, I'm going to buy it. And they did, but they had it bundled with one, two, and three. So it's Skip B by Yoshiki Nakamura. And I bought it. And this is where I went down the rabbit hole because this has the first three volumes in it. And the third volume, it stops on a cliffhanger and even though I've read it I know how it ends I was like I can't stop there so then I went and binge read everything else that I could find translated online like binged it I did say I went down a rabbit hole and so even though there are other things that I meant to read this is all I read this week was skip beat and on Goodreads, I'm only going to mark this volume and not everything else because kind of how like you binge watch a show, that's how I binge read this series. And I can't really go back and like decide each of them, um, each of the chapters or each of the volumes what I thought because they're not separate in my mind. They are all continuous. Now, I did just say this is the only thing I read this week. To be fair, before I picked this up, we had just gone to the library and I did read Spy Family Volume 4. So this actually got read before my Skip Beat binge. And this was a lovely edition where we get to get a dog and how that dog gets incorporated into the family. This is just a cute series. I am really enjoying it. Unfortunately, it looks like my library only has the first four volumes, so I've had to request they buy the fifth, even though I know there's more volumes out. So that's interesting. So now that I've binged Skip Beat, I'm really wanting to read some more manga. I'm trying so hard not to go down some more rabbit holes because I do still have the Jasmine Throne to finish. And And I am still buddy reading Babel by Rf Kwong with Margaret. I don't feel so bad about this one not getting more work because she did say that she had another book she was finishing up. And so, yeah, just really, really enjoyed my binge of the series. But that also means because my whole being was just binging the series. I did not read, or no, I did not write. And I only watched the food shows that I normally do with my husband. So 
that has been my wormhole wrap up this week.